Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film. He's out there. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with a little girl's voiceover reading aloud a children's book entitled Darkness Hides. Outside of a lakeside house, there are signs of a terrible accident, a tilted car, a tape recorder wrapped around with a rope, blood on the wooden floors, and a second car with a bloody axe handle hanging on its boots. The little girl's voiceover continues to play as the scene changes. She tells the story of a little mouse who does not fear anything until a crow appears one day and terrifies him. He advises the mouse to run and hide as the darkness hides in the light of day and it can go anywhere. The voiceover ends as the scene finally changes into a lovely family consisting of Kayla, Maddie, and their parents, father and mother. It reveals that Kayla's voice is in the voiceover as she reads the children's book in their car. The family is leaving for their annual holiday getaway, but father has to stay for a few hours because of work. He promises to follow his family as soon as possible, so mother drives away from their house. After hours of driving, mother stops at a secluded area. Deep in the forest is their vacation house. Mother steps out and attempts to open the gate, but the key keeps getting stuck. Just seconds later, a man arrives and introduces himself as the local security. He helps mother in opening up the gate. The security casually talks to mother like they know each other. He then randomly mentions that the family previously living near their house had a son named Johnny who went missing. The security claims that Johnny was about his age and slow-witted. Johnny was never found, and his family was so devastated that they sold the house and never returned. Mother changes the topic and returns to their car, but the security notices that they are all girls. So, Mother lies that her husband is right behind her, even though he is not. After that, the trio thanks the security for helping them and bids goodbye. Mother then drives to their house with a picturesque view of the lake. Mother lets the girls play while she takes care of their bags. Just as she is about to leave, her husband calls her. He is in the market, looking for gifts for the girls as an apology for working during their holiday week. Mother asks him to buy eggs, as she forgot to bring them. The phone call ends, and father chooses a teddy bear and music box for his daughters. Mother leaves her phone in the car and takes their bags inside the house. She also brings Maddie's creepy zombie doll, which has two black eyes. Mother then goes upstairs to organize their belongings. She checks her daughters through the windows and sees them swinging themselves. Mother smiles after seeing them having fun and returns to organizing. Meanwhile, the girls stop swinging and follow a red string they find near the house. They follow the thread, which leads to the middle of the forest, where a suspicious tea party is set up. After a while, the girls return to the house, and Mother sees Kayla hiding something in the drawers. So Kayla explains that it is a surprise she got for their father. Later that day, Mother reads the children's book to the girls as a bedtime story. Maddie excuses herself to sleep, so Mother continues to read the book for Kayla. As she flips the pages, she finds a childish drawing of the girls on the swing with her standing in the middle. Mother asks who drew it, and Kayla replies that the drawing was already there when they got it. After finishing the book, Mother puts her daughters to their bed and leaves them to sleep. She returns downstairs to smoke when Father calls their house phone. Mother explains that she had left her phone in the car, so he could not contact her. After their short conversation, Mother walks towards the house when she hears tree branches snapping. She dismisses it, thinking it is just an animal in the woods and goes inside. Later that night, while Mother is asleep, Kayla wakes her up and worriedly informs her that something is wrong with Maddie. Mother quickly gets up and checks Maddie in the playroom, where her daughter suddenly vomits. Mother takes Maddie to the bathroom and cleans her up when Maddie chokes on something. Mother immediately takes whatever it is in Maddie's mouth and discovers a ribbon with the word hello written on it. Mother realizes something, so she promptly leaves the bathroom and checks Kayla's gift for father. She finds a cupcake in the drawers, which she crumples in her hand. She finds another ribbon, with the word goodbye written on it. Mother realizes that something is wrong, so she attempts to contact 911, but the landline is dead. Suddenly, they hear a loud bang from upstairs, followed by continuous rumbling. Mother takes a kitchen knife before she goes out to take her phone. However, she cannot find it, and instead sees a gift in the backseat. Mother unwraps it and discovers that it is Maddie's zombie doll. Mother immediately runs back to the house and takes her daughters to the car. Mother frantically drives away when their wheels suddenly detach from the vehicle, causing them to almost crash to a tree. However, Mother quickly maneuvers the vehicle to the side and helps her daughters return to the house. As they get inside, Mother instructs Kayla to close all the curtains, so whoever is disturbing them cannot see them. After that, Mother takes pills as Maddie's condition worsens. As they hide behind the kitchen counter, they hear another loud bang. The banging continues, so Mother slowly follows where the noise is coming from, while the girls are behind her. 
She opens the curtains, and outside is their family portrait. Everyone's face is scratched to look like the zombie doll, except Mother's. She immediately goes upstairs with the girls and explains that they need to leave for Maddie's health. However, Kayla starts to get really stubborn and disagrees with Mother. Then out of the blue, Maddie looks at the window and claims that their father is outside. Confused, Mother checks it and finds a mysterious masked man standing under a tree. The darkness hides his face as he waves to Mother. Meanwhile, Father finally arrives and finds that the gate is locked. He calls Mother's phone and hears his cell phone ringing in the distance. Father follows the sound until someone finally answers the call. At first, Father thinks it is his wife, but then he continuously hears his own voice. So he follows his voice and finds Mother's cell phone brightening in the middle of the forest. Father uses the phone's light to see his surroundings and finds sculptures arranged like a family around the tea table. Father is confused, shocked, and creaked out all at the same time. And the masked man uses this to his advantage. He slowly appears from Father's back and attacks him with an axe. On the other hand, while Mother and Kayla encourage Maddie to be brave, they hear loud noises. They follow the noise downstairs until they hear banging on the door. After a few seconds, they hear Father's voice calling them. However, Mother is suspicious. Despite that, she opens the door, hopeful to see Father standing outside. But instead, she finds a speaker wrap with a rope that hangs from the rooftop. Then suddenly, Father's body falls, and Mother cries in agony as she looks at her dead husband with his eyes gouged out. Mother immediately gets inside before the girls can get out to see their father. Mother lies to her daughters that it is not their daddy outside, but a trick made by an evil man. As Mother calms her daughters down, the power suddenly goes out. Mother immediately finds a flashlight and holds her daughters as they walk out of the house. They search for anywhere to hide, only to find the drawing in the book come to life. Two small dolls are swinging the swing, while a bigger doll hangs between the swings. Then, eggs are being thrown at them out of nowhere. So Mother quickly takes her daughters inside to their house. Mother immediately locks the door and pushes furniture to block it. Kayla takes the children's book and points out to Mother that the masked man drew them. Then suddenly, the bigger doll crashes through the window as someone throws it. They immediately run upstairs and lock themselves in a room. Mother lies on the floor and watches the door gap, anxiously waiting to see someone's shadow. The girls join their mother as she gets overwhelmed and terrified for their safety. Then, mother realizes that her husband's car is nearby because of the eggs she has asked him to buy. Mother hides her daughters inside the closet while she goes outside and takes the car keys. After recovering the keys, mother returns to the house and takes the girls with her. They suddenly hear the door closing downstairs. They hear footsteps and clatterings. So mother bravely shouts to the intruder to leave them alone. Then suddenly they hear car honks. So mother checks what it is through the window. Mother finds the security walking towards the house. So she repeatedly taps on the window until he notices her. Mother shouts for help, but he cannot hear them. Then mother's fear happens as the masked man slowly appears from the security's back. Mother breaks the window and warns the security, but it is too late as the masked man swings his ax, hitting him right in the head. Although terrified, mother takes the girls downstairs. The power returns, and Mother finds the zombie doll sitting on the children's book on top of the kitchen counter. Mother removes the doll and inspects the book, only to discover that it has been altered with handmade drawings. The pages are replaced with the masked man's childlike but grotesque illustrations of his plan to kill him. Although deeply creeped out by the drawings, Mother attempts to open the door to leave. However, the masked man breaks through the front window and takes Mother. The girls can only scream and cry in fear as they watch their mother get taken away from them. Kayla encourages herself to be brave for Maddie and takes a kitchen knife before. The masked man plays a children's stone to lure the girls outside. He succeeds as the girls leave the house, thinking it is their dad playing the music for them. The girls run to their father's car, only to find the gifts unwrapped, and their mother tied and gagged in the trunk. The girls immediately help their mother, who warns them about the masked man behind them. The girls avoid his attack, so the axe hits mother's side. The girls scream and run in fear, but the masked man chases them with the car. The girls run upstairs and hide underneath the bed, and the masked man still follows them. He sits on the bed and explains to the girls his motive. His name is Johnny. He grew up in the house and has been stalking her family every year whenever they visit for their annual holiday trip. The children's book that the girls loved was actually from him. He left it in the house so the girls could find it and answer the riddle. Johnny then flips the bed and captures the girls by putting chloroform on a piece of fabric and putting it on their mouths. The following day, it reveals that father's eyes and arms are now on the mannequin, while mother is still alive. Ironically, the axe on her side stopped her from bleeding to death until Johnny removed it. 
Johnny leaves mother in the car and checks the girls who are still asleep from the chemical. He returns to his tea party and fixes the mannequins to make them more alive. It turns out Johnny loves tea parties, but he sadly could not find any guests. So he carved mannequins to make them look like people. Johnny spends his time on these mannequins until he finally finds the perfect family that could replace them. As Joni fixes a mannequin, Kayla wakes up, but she pretends to be asleep to not be harmed. However, Johnny notices her movements, so he takes his axe and prepares to cut off Kayla's arm, but he suddenly hears something. He leaves Kayla, follows the sound, and finds the gifts scattered around. The teddy bear and bottles of wine are on the ground, while the music box is in the car trunk. As he gets distracted, Mother appears from behind and hits him. She quickly takes the axe and repeatedly swings it, hitting Johnny on various body parts. Johnny puts up a fight, and they engage in a struggle, but Mother eventually wins. She stabs the axe on Johnny's back and even plunges it deep until he collapses on the ground. After that, Mother reunites with her daughters, and she takes them inside their father's car. Mother drives away, while Kayla looks back to see Johnny still lying on the ground with the axe on his back. The engine then stalls, but Mother manages to restart it. Kayla looks back again, only to find the ground empty and Joni nowhere to be found. Kayla asks Mother where Johnny had gone, but she dismisses it and continues to drive away. Just like the darkness in the book, Johnny will come looking for the family wherever they are. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.